So as you can clearly see, this chair needs an awful lot of work. It was in the garden, it was soaking wet, varnish had peeled off everywhere. So the first thing after drying it out by the stove for a few days was it needed a really, really good sand. Sandpaper works on a P grid system. So the lower the P grid, the coarser the sandpaper and the higher the P grid, the finer the, the sandpaper. So I've started with a coarse sandpaper here and I'm really, really giving it a good once over. It's about a P40. It's very coarse and it's gonna pull all the flaking uh, varnish off. Once you've gone over that, the whole chair and made sure it's fairly smooth of the varnish and flaky bits, you then would go over it with a P120 I'm going to use. And what it does is it just puts a fine sand finish ready for you to prime. Next step is to prime your chair. Use a good quality um, water-based primer. Don't use an oil-based primer. They're stinky, toxic, and a complete nightmare to wash your paintbrushes afterwards. So apply a good coat, a good thick coat, particularly on the areas you're decoupaging. For the project I'm doing today, I'm going to be decoupaging the seat of the chair and the back. Uh, for the areas that you're going to paint, just slap a quick coat on. Uh, don't worry about getting it consistent. I use normal napkins, they actually have three ply, so there's three layers to them. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually separating out the layers because you're just going to use the top layer. You're going to dip your paintbrush in the water and then I'm actually just taking off the excess water there on, on my thumb and then you're going to draw around the the outside of the pattern that you want to put onto your chair. So in this case we're going to put the whole peacock on to the back part of the chair and then the plan is to put peacock feathers then running down on the seat of the chair. So what you want to do is just if you can just wet the area the other side of where you want to use. So don't wet the actual peacock, wet around the peacock. So when you go to lift it up like I'm doing now and pull it apart, it's only pulling the wet part, which is on the outside of the design. So it should come off with a nice jaggedy edge on it, which means that when you're joining bits of, in this case, peacock feathers together, you won't see the join line, which is kind of the secret of decoupage. Um, for this technique is that you want it to look like one whole picture not lots of little bits joined together so you just keep ripping around it taking care not to actually rip your design so I'm being really careful taking out this peacock because we're actually like I said going to be using this on the back of the chair for the other parts of the napkins I'm going to pull apart for the seat of the chair, you can be much more careless um, because it's just going to be a giant mass of feathers all decoupage together. So this is the hardest one. Next we're decoupaging your napkin that you've carefully uh, torn out and round onto your piece of furniture. So you apply a small amount of Mod Podge glue onto your furniture, not to the napkin, and then you just lightly, lightly press on the first part of your napkin. I use, I tap my fingers on the piece rather than pushing it because you're working with a very thin layer of napkin. And then I move on to the next section, small amount of Mod Podge, and then you press your next part of your napkin down. If you get a wrinkle in it, don't worry too much because you can actually press it out as it's heading towards being dry. And practice makes perfect. You'll get used to how much resistance you can use on the, on the napkin with your fingers. So the hardest part was attaching the two peacocks to the back of the chair because uh, I had to line them up. But actually after that, it's just a matter of uh, attaching each piece 
and it's really like a giant jigsaw puzzle I always think of it uh, except you're making up the jigsaw puzzle as you go so I just as I was doing this tried to kind of have a little flow of uh, the feathers as they would come off the uh, peacock so it kind of created a kind of a swirling effect which is what I was going for So my intention for this project was to use peacock feathers for the whole of the seat pad but it in the end it worked out that I ran out of peacock feathers and with a lot of projects I, uh, I ended up having to change my plan halfway through and put some flowers down at the bottom so it, like so many projects that I talk to my students about it's the mistakes or the things where you think maybe it's gone wrong where in the end it works out being the making of the project um, and as you can see here I used some flowers down at the bottom of the peacock feathers and I actually think it's worked out better than if I'd done it with the peacock feathers in the first place and this is the beauty of decoupage is that you can join different types of napkins um, together if they're in the same pattern or the same color scheme and uh, it looks like there's no join between them. Once you've finished decoupaging most of your chair that's easy to get at, start painting your chair. Make sure that you turn your chair as you're painting it. So turn it all four ways because no matter how much you think you've got every little nook and cranny, you won't have. So this is a surefire way of making sure that you get all the areas painted. You're gonna to need to paint the chair two or three times, depending on the quality of your paint. When you're gluing your napkins onto your furniture, uh, try not to overlap your pieces of napkin. Um, it, it, it's not an exact science and there will be a slight amount of overlap uh, and for some projects in fact you can use the overlap to create a kind of a mosaic effect but for this one I wanted to create a whole picture so where there was a gap I tried to rip a piece that uh, almost fitted as close as you possibly can. Now obviously there's a bit of trial and, and, and error uh, but as a rule um, try not to overlap your pieces um, if you're going for a picture type effect. I decided to apply some gold leaf behind the peacocks to make them stand out a little bit more. So gold leaf is a really thin gold paper that you can buy from craft shops or online and it's exactly the same principle as decoupaging, you use, use your Mod Podge to apply the gold leaf uh, where you'd like it um, and in this case I think it's uh, really worked to accentuate these peacocks. So remember your Mod Podge that you use to glue on your napkins? Well, your glue now becomes your varnish. So it, uh, it needs to be applied to every single part of your chair. All the bits you finish painting, all the bits you finish decoupaging. It's the last thing you do is varnish your chair with the Mod Podge. You apply it into every single corner and I would give it at least two coats particularly for something like um, a piece of furniture like a chair or a table that's going to have a lot of use hopefully um, you want it to be as durable as possible and it also makes it scratch resistant so that is it that is your final step in decoupaging and upcycling your chair so I will do a pan out and a little reveal of the whole thing now <music>